Thanks for joining me for another video. Today we are going to be talking about nutrition support formulas. So how I choose the correct formula for a patient. So I've written out here the seven formulas that we have here at this hospital and let's go through them one by one to show you how I go about picking the right formula even before I, I look at their macronutrient needs oftentimes I can tell which formula might be appropriate for them and then that way you don't have to run your math on all the different formulas. So if it's an ICU patient and they're intubated, I'm typically going to use an ICU specific formula. Now an ICU specific formula is often going to be peptide based, immunomodulated, it might be for trauma um, or uh, septic patients, and it's also going to be fiber free. So the three formulas that we have to choose from are our pivot, our Vital AF and our Vital HP. Now our Pivot 1.5 and our Vital AF have the same um, protein to uh, calorie ratio. So if you're whatever patient you have, if they have X amount of calories and X amount of protein, these formulas are gonna be identical in terms of being able to provide that. Um, however, Pivot is just more concentrated and it has some extra ingredients in it that are specific for surgical patients uh, uh, as well that um, Vital AF does not have. These are both peptide based. Now Vital HP is very high in protein, lower in concentration. So Vital HP is a one cal formula and it has uh, 87 grams of protein per liter. So even more um, protein per calorie than any of the other formulas on here. So oftentimes if I have a patient that's on propofol, which is a sedative that contains a lipid emulsion, so it contains calories. So we have to subtract the propofol calories from the patient's calorie needs. And what that does is it leads you, it le leaves you with some calories that need to be met but all the protein still needs to get met. So you have these low calorie, high protein uh, needs that uh, Vital HP will be able to do because it has such a high protein to calorie ratio. So these are the three that I'm gonna be looking for for our ICU patients. If you have a medical patient or a surgical patient, I'm probably not picking these three. Now Nepro deserves a shout out. This is our renal specific formula. So whether you have an intubated person uh, or they're not intubated, but they're on nutrition support and they also need a renal specific formula. So this is a 1.8 cal, so they don't wanna, you wanna um, reduce their fluid intake, uh, especially in patients that aren't making urine. If they're on dialysis and not making urine, they're fluid overloaded. Uh, they have high uh, renal related uh, electrolytes such as potassium uh, or phosphorus, then this is the formula that we're gonna use. So most of the time, if you have a renal patient, uh, that's chronic, not acute, I'm gonna be looking for, for Nepro. Now we're left with three other formulas that are just considered your complete intact formulas. This is Jevity, Osmolite, and Promote. And these are all very different. Our Jevity 1.2, that's a 1.2 calorie concentration. It's got 55.5 grams of protein per liter. So moderate calorie, moderate protein. It's a complete formula, but it has fiber. So for most of our patients, this will meet a lot of their needs while providing fiber. So long-term tube feeders, this would be a great option. Now, if you have a patient that needs this, but without the fiber, see if you're, you're, uh, you have Osmolite on hand. Now, both of these two formulas come in a one, a 1.2 and a 1.5 cal. Some hospitals will carry all three versions for both formulas, so you have a ton to choose from. But here we have a 1.2. I haven't found a huge use for the one cal. Uh, and then we have uh, a 1.5. So this is gonna be used for our patients that maybe shouldn't get fiber. Let's say they're just after GI surgery or they need uh, a 1.5. They have a lot of um, calorie needs. Maybe they have slightly high protein needs, but not a lot of protein, um, but more or less their calorie needs are very high. So if you have someone that needs 2,500 or 3,000 calories, 
you can meet that need with Osmolite without running it at 120 or 150 mils an hour and still give your patient at least 100 grams of protein. So this is a really good option for those high, high calorie patients and our low fiber patients. Last but not least, we have Promote with Fiber. This is a one cal formula. That's a one cal formula. So, and it has 63 grams of protein. So that's gonna be really important for our high protein patients. Maybe their needs are 1500 calories, but they need 100 grams of protein a day. That's gonna be the formula for you. You're not gonna meet their protein needs uh, with Osmolite or Jevity, I'm gonna go with Promote. So if you run the numbers with Osmolite and Jevity, they don't work out, then you probably need to try out uh, Promote. It's a one cow formula, 63, so lower concentration. Um, uh, it's high protein, I put high fiber. It's high protein uh, and it has fiber. So those are our formulas. So I ask myself, is it a surgical or a medical patient or is it an ICU patient? If it's an ICU patient and they're not on dialysis, then I'm not gonna use Nepro. I'll pick either Vitals or the Pivot. And if they're um, a surgical patient, they need extra protein, we're gonna try out Promote. If they're a renal patient, I'll try out Nepro. And if they're just a general patient, whether they need fiber or not, Jevity or Osmolite. And this information is important because if you can identify the needs of your patient, then you can narrow down your formula from 10 or 12 or seven formulas down to two or three that might be appropriate for them. And then once you figure out what their macro needs are, you can run those numbers with only one or you know two or three of these formulas and quickly figure out the right formula for your patient without having to do the math for all of these. So I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any questions, post them down below. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. Thanks for watching. Cheers.